In this video you'll find out how did I make an ultimate ability for my game and where inspiration was taken. My name is Alex, I'm making games and I'm posting videos about it. Subscribe if you didn't and let's begin. Oh boy, it's good to be back. It feels too good to be creative again and write a script for a new video. I'm sorry I wasn't here for you, I was really busy with something and I'll tell you what exactly in the end of this video. For now let's focus on the main topic and that is ultimate ability. We are making a game about magic knight who has a gift over time control and I really want to give her some special ability, something that can win the battle with one click. Not only because it feels good as a gameplay mechanic, but also I love anime. Wait a second. Anime. One of the best thing in the anime. Those rare moments when something feels so powerful you get in chills and you literally cannot sit in your chair. The moment is so cool you feel it inside of your chest. And the goal is to make same kind of a feeling in the game. Another good example of what I want to make is a classic anime Bleach. They have Bankai, their strongest level of power, and this dude has power of creating a void in which his enemies lose all senses. But for those who are not such a nerd like I am, I have another good example, Chronosphere from Dota 2. I'm not assuming you playing that garbage and by calling it garbage I know what I'm talking about, it's just a perfect example, because this what we will be making. I'll start with simple and I'll make a circle that grows with a click of a button and shrinks after some time. Now I want to freeze time inside of this sphere. I just want to see how it feels, because we are still prototyping this and oh boy it feels good. Imagine, it feels good now, what is gonna be after? Polish. I'm getting hyped, man. Woo! Now, I wanna see if I can freeze enemies inside of the circle but not outside. And what a surprise for me, I can. Honestly, I expected to have a couple of days of googling on how can I do this. But turns out, it's not so difficult. At this point, I have a couple of options on how it should go forward. Option A is to freeze enemies entirely. Option B, just to slow them down. And you know what? It's getting too hard to choose from, so why don't I keep all of it? Yeah, exactly. I can keep it as a skill upgrade, which will give that juicy RPG element to the game, like a skill tree or something. Now, this one really feels good, but I think it feels good mostly because of the battle system we created in the last video, and I want to make it strong press R to win kind of ability. What if we try to make it even more interesting with a gameplay mechanic that makes you feel real good if you succeeded, but if you failed, you wanna try again, and I'm talking about quick time events. Yeah, each new enemy inside of a circle assigned by a hotkey. If you press that key, enemy will become a target and ultimate damage will be released on him. Or it can be activated just for bonus damage, or maybe each press of a key will become a damage and you have limited time. This feels very flexible and I never know when to stop with my crazy ideas, so if you have your opinion on how it should be finalized, leave me a comment below, I read them all, sometimes even twice a day. This is the option I will keep for now, overall it feels good even though we don't have a damage system yet but that will come later. Now let's give it a bit of a polish, I personally would like to keep it just as a black void, but 2D game is nothing without particles or visual effects, and this one should give a good feeling. Especially I like how it looks when it shrinks back. Also I wanna make a feeling that something big is coming before she even casts an ability. Something like this. This world shall know pain. Almighty push! Obviously I cannot pull off that level of epic, but I made this cute levitation effect before she cast the void. I guess it's good enough, I know a lot more could be done to make it better, but I was busy by doing full update for course on how to make mobile game and it's done. Plus me and my friend working on this top down shooter and there is a lots of news I'm eager to tell you, but that is a topic for another video. Thank you for watching till this moment, check out the courses if you want to make your own video game, join the community by clicking subscribe button and remember, we don't play games, we make them.